bad image, VC Runtime 140 DIL is either not designed to run on Windows or it contains an error. Try installing the program again using the original installation media or contact your system administrator or the software vendor for support. And this is usually accompanied by the error 0XC000012F, but it's not always accompanied by this specific error. So this will happen in Windows, and it doesn't matter if it's Windows 10 or 11 or 7. We want to help you troubleshoot and fix it. So what I want you to do, what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall or basically re-register VC Runtime in your system, in your Windows. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to type in CMD, which is right here, CMD, under search. And that's usually on the very bottom left where you can type in something near the Microsoft key. Type in CMD and then click on Command Prompt. And then you're going to run the following command. REGSVR32 space forward slash U space VCRUNTIME 140.DLL. And make sure you have a space after 32 and after forward slash U. Okay, so that will uninstall it. And then after you do that, you're going to reinstall it by typing REGSVR32 space VCRUNTIME 140.DLL. And make sure there's a space after 32. Now that's going to reinstall it. Now restart your computer and then see if that error has gone away. Now, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to do a whole system check of Windows. You're going to run a scan and you're going to look for a corrupted file. So to do that, under the search here, you're going to type in CMD. Then you're going to click on Command Prompt. And you're going to type in the following command up here. SFC space forward slash S-C-A-N-N-O-W. Click on enter here. And then you go up here and check for updates. And that should take a few minutes if you have any updates. And if you do, restart the computer and see if that fixes your issue. Now, after you did that, what we're going to do is we're going to repair Visual C++. So that's a major file uh, program, uh, written program in Windows. And so what you want to do is you want to go under pro, uh, apps. And so to do that, what you want to do is type in programs under search. You want to click add or remove programs. And it's going to take you to this page here. Apps and features. You want to type, you want to either type in, um, visual or just go by alphabetical order by name. And you want to look for where it says Microsoft Visual, but you need to make sure you click on where it says Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 through 2019. You're not going to be clicking on the 2012s or the 2013s. And if you have two of the 2015s and 19s, you want to do both of them. So we're going to modify both of them and repair both of them. So to do that, you click one of them, you click Modify, then it's going to ask for permissions, you click Yes, and then you click Repair. And if you have a second one that's 2015 through 19, you want to click on that one and repair that one. Restart the computer and see if that error goes away. If not, while you're online, I want you to Google, I want you to Google Visual C++ Redistributable for Visual Studio. And you want to go on Microsoft's web page. It should be the first one that pops up. And then you want to install this again. And you don't have to uninstall it first. It'll automatically do the update for you. Restart the computer and then see if that fixes, fixes the issue. If it doesn't, what I would recommend is go back to Programs here. By just typing in Programs here on the search, Add or Remove Program. And then what I want you to do is uh, find the program that you're having an issue with, uninstall it, and then reinstall it. All right, I hope I helped you. Make sure you put in the comment section which uh, method worked for you. And make sure you subscribe to me. All right, thanks.